Hello, Jancy. Very happy to see this essay from you. Let's get right into this correction. Okay, uh, international marketing. So, in the rampant age of globalization, multinational marketing plays an essential role in the economy of a country. It is believed by many that it that it is there. I think is what you mean, and you don't need this spelling of there if that's what you're trying to say to con it is there to conquer the local market share through its fast growing strategies however others view it as a need to explore the culture of various countries in other words it educates locals about international economy and information this essay will evaluate the factors contributing to cultural imperialism as well as its without the apostrophe benefits as an educational and informative tool okay fine but where is your opinion because it says it specifically right here that it wants your opinion so please add it here in your um, introduction. Now, the other thing is, I wasn't really crazy about this word, the rampant age of globaliza globalization. It's just not really a collocation that uh, we would use. Okay, so let's move on. At the outset, needless to say that the global marketing, that not the, but just global marketing, it's uh, an abstract noun, you don't need um, the, the. So, uh, global marketing possesses, careful through spelling, a huge share in the market which puts the local business uh, at jeopardy, in jeopardy. All right, fine, yeah. Um, by advertising your international product on TV, commercials, billboards, and posters, for instance, a threat to local businesses and economy has been observed from the last couple of years. Furthermore, these renowned enterprises mislead the users in order to exaggerate the product qualities. As a result, many consumers get allured towards the fake era of publicity. All right. Experts have named it cultural imperialism, which ruins several traditional norms of a country. Fine. Okay. On the contrary, there are manifold points in support of multinational marketing. First and foremost, the optimistic and healthy competition amid local business local and business entities plural here where undoubtedly the customer gets a huge All right, this is not a full sentence okay um it's it, there's no verb basically so you need to correct the sentence so that there's a verb here secondly it educates local brands and business models about better business opportunities and advanced marketing strategies thirdly global companies um, okay, global companies <laughs> develop strategies considering language, ideas, and culture of a country. To illustrate, McDonald's serves only non-vegetarian um, options or fare, you could have said here, uh, in the USA and other parts of the globe. However, it started vegetarian burgers in India owing to the large number of market share. Well, owing to its large market share. In addition to that, they do not serve beef in India as it hurts religious sentiments. Lastly, despite being in an era of cutthroat competition, you should put a... This is actually one word. These experts of global enterprises organize workshops from time to time in order to train local executives and workers. Okay, um, well, there's one thing I wanted to point out to you here, and it's that you've got this first and foremost, and you've got this secondly, but you don't actually support it. So these first couple of points are just a list. It's only the third one here, the global companies and strategies, where you actually develop the answer. So you need to do this for all of your, your main points, okay? All right, so in conclusion, I would like to state that gone are the days, I like that, gone are the days when companies had to confine themselves to their own territory. In the current scenario, it is emphasized to advert products uh, with an S internationally following the traditions and culture of the targeted company, country because it is beneficial, uh, not really for the boost, it is beneficial for the economy. That's it. All right, so, uh, John C., there are some really nice elements here. I liked some of the language you used. Um, I liked the points. I mean, it's uh, a, a topic that you um, answered in um, a well-thought-out way. Um, so, I mean, I liked the examples you used and so forth, but there are some um, issues with it that I already mentioned in terms of the development and in terms of some of the grammar. All right. So nice job with this. Um, I'm certain that you will improve with continued writing and continued feedback. So I hope you'll, um, decide to, um, seek out more feedback for your writing. Um, whether that's through the online course here at IELTSpodcast.com or through additional writing uh, corrections. So uh, whatever you choose, I would really like to see more essays for you from you in order to help you with your IELTS goals, and I wish you the best of luck.